Our house is on fire! Help us, please! Anyone, please Marat. help us! Marat! Marat! Please help Marat. us! Help us, please! Marat! 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 Marat, come back! Marat, help us, Marat! Marat, don't leave! Marat, help! Aunt Nerimon? Marat's son? Is everything okay? Is there something wrong? No. I uh, just remembered something. I have to go out for a little while, Ibrahim. Did you take care of your business? No, not yet, but I'm going to. Good luck with that. What business is this, Ibrahim? I inherited some land from my father in my village, so I'm trying to sell it, you know. <sighs> I wish my father had some land to leave me. But I'm stuck here working for chump change. Suna, be grateful for what you have. There are plenty of people worse off than you. All right? My knee. Let me see. Oh. Karem, you two are friends. Why would you kick him like that? Okay, I'll take you home. I can't believe Kerem did that. Now just hold still. I'm gonna trip him the next time we play. That's not like you, Efe. Friends don't treat each other like that at all. But he tripped me first. Look, see what he did to my knee. If you trip him, then you're no better than he is for tripping you. I know you're a much better person than that. Now go wash up for dinner, okay. sweetie. Go on. Mom? Do you happen to remember Aunt Nerimon? Uh, yes, of course I do. I don't know what happened to them after that terrible fire. I don't know where they went. It's been almost 10 years. I wonder what happened to Hassan. Why are you asking about Nariman? Do you know anyone 
You might know where they are. Well, I can ask around. Wait, why do you want to know? I started the fire that night. <gasps> oh. Oh. Come on! Nariman's house is on fire! <laughs> what kind of person am I? How could I have done such a thing? What the hell is wrong with me? Murad? <clears throat> Merve? Is everything all right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I hate myself, the horrible things I've done. I wish I could just erase my entire past. Do you 
have to work. Mm-hmm. I'm going there now. Mm-hmm. My knee really hurts. Don't worry, it'll get better. You shouldn't be so hard on yourself, Marat. At least pound, you're trying man. to make up for the bad things that you've Thanks done. Thank you, Merve. I believe in you, Marat. Believe in yourself. Fresh potatoes here. Get some fresh potatoes, a dollar a pound. How are you doing, Malik? Please, come on in, Zainab. No, that's okay. Here, I made some rice pudding. I wanted to bring some over and apologize to you. I'm so sorry for not believing you. How could I believe that horrible woman instead of my good neighbor? <laughs> that's okay. Don't worry about it. Zainab, we shouldn't let things like this come between us. You're not only my neighbor, you're my friend, too. Please forgive me. I forgive mm -hmm. you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Oh, Zainab? Mm. Do you have an idea where Nariman moved to? Where is she, and how can I get a hold of her? I see her once in a while. Why, is there something wrong? Well, um, I just really need to find her. You know the farmer's market they set up on the weekends, along Flower Street? She has a stand there. Ah. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. Uncle Marat! Mom? Marat, I found out where Nariman is. You did? Where is she? I want to go with you. You feeling better? I'm good. Listen to me. Do you know the farmer's market they set up along Flower Street? Mm hmm She has a small stand there. She lives in a small house close to the farmer's market. If you stop by the market first, you might be able to find her there. Tell her I said hi and would love to have her come by and visit sometime. Don't let go of my hand, okay? Mm-hmm. I wonder if she'll remember me. Ms. Neriman. What do you want? Did you think about my proposition? Yes, I did. I won't accept it. I have a son I need to take care of. I'm going to have to take care of him for as long as I live. We're all going to die someday. What's going to happen to your son when you die? Your son can be very comfortable with the money I give you. Here's my card. Time is running out. Think about it. I would never do business with a man like you. Don't bother me again. Now get out of here. Aunt Nerimon? Who are you? What do you want? Don't you recognize me? No, I'm sorry. I don't know who you are. Marat Yalnas, Melik's son, your old neighbors. <gasps> Marat! Let me take a look at you. You look good. You haven't changed one bit. How are you? Who was that guy? Is there something wrong? No, no, it's nothing. Is this little boy yours? So, you're a father now. You could say that. F.A.? You're so cute. Are you heading home now? Yes, I'm done for the day. I can manage. I don't want to keep you. I came to see you. That's why I'm here. I'm glad I found you. Is there a reason why you came to see me, Marat? I'll tell you on the way home. Oh. Hold this. I got it. <sighs> So how is your mom doing? I haven't seen her in a while. She's doing just fine, but how about you? How's Hassan? Do you think I could talk to him today? Our house is very close to here, right down on Sunny Street. It's a small one-story house, but that just means there's less to take care of. Stop by one day, okay? I have to get going now. I can take Wait, this. Wait, let me take this home for you. No, no, Marat. I can't have you take that for me. Neriman, uh, please what? wait. I owe you a lot more than this. I don't know what you're talking about. The fire. Fire? Oh, a 
that fire. We lost everything we had because of that terrible fire. Our lives would have turned out better if it never happened. How can I say this? I'm responsible for that fire. I knocked over the bucket of ashes that night, and instead of helping you, I just walked away. I was running away from the police and didn't want to get caught. Oh. Everyone used to say you were nothing but a thief, but I would always defend you. I would say that's Melik's son. He would never do anything wrong. But it's true. Everyone was right all along. I swear I'm not like that anymore. I've changed. How can I make it up to you? What can I do so you'll forgive me, huh? After all this time you're asking for forgiveness? You shouldn't have told me. I wish I had never found out about this. Naramon, please. I'll do anything. You're a disgusting person, Murat. Get out of here. Go. Efe? Where's Efe? 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 Cotton candy! Come and get your cotton candy here! Delicious, sweet, fluffy cotton candy! Come and get some cotton candy here! Cotton candy! Excuse me, sir. You know? Have you seen a six-year-old boy walk through here? Oh, sorry, I haven't. He was wearing a red and blue jacket. Here you Thanks, go. Thanks, mister. Can I have one, too, That'll please? That'll be 50 cents. Here. Here you go. Can I have one, mister? Okay, hold on. How much is it? One at a time. Everyone will get some. Thanks. You're Marat's son. What are you doing here by I yourself? I came to get some cotton candy, but then I got lost. Do you know where my Uncle Marat cotton is? Cotton candy! Cotton candy! Come with me. Here. Come on. Come and get your cotton candy. Here. Thanks. Excuse me. Hello, sir. Have you seen a six-year-old boy around here, all by himself? He was wearing a red and blue jacket. No. I'll let your grandma Melik know you're here. She'll come and get you, okay. don't worry. Might be poor, but we never hurt anyone or stole anything. Thank the Lord. Who's this? Where did this kid come from? Who is he? I'm F.A. We can barely provide for ourselves. How are we supposed to take care of this kid, too? Hassan, don't worry about it. The poor kid was just lost. What was I supposed to do? Leave him out on the street? I'm leave. I have a home. Grandma Malik and Uncle Murat are probably worried about me. Did you see Murat? It's right down the street. This way? Yeah. Okay, thanks. I was always jealous of the other boys when they used to play soccer. I could never play ball because I'm handicapped and stuck in this wheelchair. <sighs> They would always make fun of me and push me around. Come on, guys, let's go. Hey, Wheels, want me to give you a push? <laughs> Look at the loser in the wheelchair. <laughs> Stupid Hassan. <laughs> Marat, help me, please. Marat, help me. Marat, please help me. Come on, Marat, let's go. Marat. <laughs> that loser. 
<laughs> Marat, why won't you help me? So Uncle Marat wasn't your friend when you guys were kids? He'd rather be friends with the normal kids than me. He was our neighbor for years, but he never wanted to hang out with me. When our house burned down, he didn't even come over to help. That fire destroyed everything we had. He didn't care. He looked down on us just like everyone else did. Is Effa here? Uh, yeah, he's here. Effa, come outside. Hey, Uncle Where Marat. were you, Effa? I wanted to get some cotton candy. You know you're not supposed to go anywhere by yourself without asking me. But I saw a man with cotton candy, and you guys were talking. Are you all right, Niraman? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just go and tell your mom I said hi. Is Hassan here? Look, Marat. Just go home and don't come here again. What's done is done. There's no use talking about it. We'll leave you alone and you leave us alone. Uncle Marat, you never let Hassan play ball with you guys? We were wrong. Their house was on fire, but you didn't go help them. I did something really bad. Just like Karim? Yeah, like Karim. I could have helped, but I didn't. I should have. We were neighbors. I should have helped him. Neighbors are always supposed to help each other, right? That's what Grandma Melek says. You should always help them. F is asleep. Why don't you go to sleep too? You look tired, and you have to get up early in the morning. I have to go, Mom. At this hour? Where are you going, Marat? Why can't you take care of this tomorrow? Niramon said she didn't want to see me again. So what are you going to do? Anything to make amends. I noticed it was cold in their house. I'm going to bring them some wood and anything else they might need. I want her to understand that I'm truly sorry. Good luck then, Murat. What are you doing here, Marat? What do you want? I brought you some wood to keep your house warm. I'll get you anything else you need, Niramon. Just leave, Marat. Go on. Go. We don't need your help. Go home. Go sleep in your nice, warm, comfortable house, okay? Just leave. Can I at least see Hassan? He's at work. He actually found a job. He's trying to bring home a good, honest paycheck. He doesn't want any handouts. Get out of here. Not until you let me help you. I'll sit here as long as it takes. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, Nariman. Uh, What's wrong? I'm in a lot of pain. What's wrong, Nariman? Uh, Is everything all right, dear? Uh, Do you need help? Uh, uh, I'm taking you to the hospital. Come on. Uh, uh, Can you take care of the house, uh, sir? Don't worry about it. I'll watch their place while you're gone. Just get her to the hospital. Oh, oh poor thing. She's always in pain. Be careful with her on your way to the hospital. Wait, wait. It's very cold outside. You better cover her up with something. Here, take this. Here, here. Thank you very much, sir. Put this around her so she won't be cold. Easy. There you go. There you go. Marat? I don't know. 
She's in a lot of pain. She said something about one of her kidneys. Don't worry, we'll oh. take care of her. Oh. 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 Be careful with her. Oh. Don't worry, ma'am, it's gonna be all right. Oh. We're gonna take care of your pain. Oh. 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 Murat, huh? it's Nariman's kidneys. Oh. I looked up her name on our computers. She needs a transplant, and she is on the waiting list. The good news is she's next in line on the waiting list. She'll be so much better after the transplant. But I heard her living conditions aren't very good. It would be great if she could stay somewhere better until her operation. Mm -hmm. uh. Easy. Uh. Easy now. Thank you so much for your help, Marat. Don't worry about it. Oh. Welcome to your new home. You'll be very comfortable here. I hope you won't start spoiling me while I'm staying here with you. Of course we're going to spoil you, Nariman. You're our guest. Oh. Hassan. What about Hassan? You just worry about getting better. I'm going to take care of Hassan. Don't worry about him. Here we are. Be careful now. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Can you spare some change, no, sir? No, I don't have anything. You? Can you spare some change, man? Spare change? Could you spare some change, sir? <laughs> Hey, you. Who are you? I'm Hassan. Are you the blind man's guy? What? Don't play dumb with me. Uh, uh, this is our uh, trip, so why don't you get the hell out of here? Uh, this guy working for the blind man? He said he doesn't know him, but who knows? Go tell your boss. Stop sending his guys here. This is our turf and no one else's. Got it? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't about. know what we're talking about. Look, we're the only ones who can beg for money around here. You got that? Leave the chair, we could use that. Uh, Get out uh, of here. Uh, oh. You don't understand, I can't walk. I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> can't you see I'm deaf? Get the hell out of here. Psst. Hey. I think this guy is really crippled. Hassan! Hassan, are you okay? Hassan! Get away Who from him! Let's get yeah, out of here. Come on, man. Let's, let's get go. back to work. <sighs> I'm gonna let's tell get get my Uncle Murad about you. Give him spare change, sir. What did they do to you, you Hassan? Spare change, sir? Hassan! 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 Hassan? Where the hell could he be? Hassan! like that. Why didn't anyone come over to help you? No one ever helps out anyone in this world. Have you learned that yet? That's not true. My Uncle Marat helps people all the time. He helped me, he helped my dad, and he helps strangers he doesn't even know. I don't need your Uncle Marat's help, alright? Leave me alone, please. 
Why did you bring me here? This isn't where I live. <laughs> Hassan, there you are. Huh. My Uncle Murad isn't a bad person. I'm so glad I finally found so... you. Oh, are you running around trying to find more people to help? What do you want, Suna? I found Hassan. He was begging for money. But then these other beggars got mad and wanted to beat him up. Shut up, kid. That's not what I was doing. There's no need to yell at him. He was just being silly. Come on. I'm taking you to our place. I'm not going. Stop! But your mom is there. You should pay more attention to your shop. You're losing customers. I'm not worried about customers right now, Suna. I have other things on my mind. Things that are more important. Than just money. See ya. <laughs> Hassan, we were playing ball the other day. You should have seen me. I scored a goal. But then Karim tripped me. Oh. And I hurt my knee really bad. Thank you so much for everything you've done. I don't know how to repay you. You don't have to repay me. I should have treated you like this a long time ago. I'm happy to help. Yes, hello? Yes, Doctor? Really, that's great. Yes, I know where she is. I'll let her know. Okay, thank you. Hey, Isla, can you cover for me for about a half an hour? Yeah, sure, no problem. So, you finally decided to start running your business instead of doing charity work. Suna, don't start. Murad? Hmm. Hey, Merve. What's going on? I have some good news for you. Ah! Now who are you going to run off and help this time? Your guest that's staying at your house, mm -hmm. Nariman. They found a matching kidney donor. They're ready for her at the hospital. She can finally have the operation. Oh my god, you're kidding me. I'm gonna go tell her right now. Thanks. Hey, Merve. Thank you. Hey, Mom. I have some great news. Ah, <gasps> uh, Nariman. Guess what? They found a kidney donor. Oh. You can have the transplant. Oh. Come on, let's get you ready. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Oh, thank God. That's great, Mom. Don't worry. I'll be back to take care of you sooner than you think. I'll just go home then. No, I don't want you to go, Hassan. <laughs> we still have to play soccer together. Let's get all of your things together, Nariman. Then we'll go to the hospital. You really are a true friend, Melek. But that's okay. I'll go to the hospital by myself. Do you think that I would leave you by yourself? After you. Thanks. Hi, Nariman. I wish you good luck today. Thank you very much, Murat. Everything's going to be just fine. You're going to feel so much better after this. I hope so. I'm just really worried about leaving my boy alone. You should be worried about your son. Oh, and good luck, by the way. Thank you, Suna. I hope you get better soon. I mean, you don't want your son to beg for money anymore, right? What are you talking about? Suna, stop causing trouble. Oh! Oh, she doesn't know. I didn't realize. I thought you knew your son was a beggar. Well, what else could the poor guy do? But it's too bad he got beat up by the other beggars. Oh. Nariman, wait! <laughs> what did I do? I have to leave. You're gonna have to stay here. I can't. I have something to take You'll care of. You'll have to close the shop then. Ibrahim isn't here either. I'd love to help you out, but I have plans.
How could you? How could you do this to me? What happened? Was my entire life just a waste? Would I be better off dead? Oh, I can't believe What's this. What's wrong? Tell me, Mom. Are you begging for money? Tell me you're not doing that. <laughs> Tell me it's not true. My son would never beg for money, right? It is true. Why? I, everything they said was true. I wasted my whole life. I worked so hard every day for nothing. What good did it do you, hmm? Working hard. Look at how poor we are. Look at how we live. What are you saying? Look at me. I'm crippled. And you're in pain all the time. Nothing's gonna change. What else am I supposed to do? So begging is the answer? What's going to happen to me when you die? I'll end up begging sooner or later. What kind of work is there for me in this world? How am I supposed to support myself when you're gone? Can you tell me? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Who will protect me? Who's gonna watch over me then? Your son can be very comfortable with the money I give you. You'll be just fine. Because I'm going to sell my life for you. No, Mom. Mom, wait! You can't do that! Uh, Mom! Hassan! Sweetheart! I promised that I would always take care of you and protect you. This will secure your future. I have to do this. Mom, please don't do this. Mother! Mom, wait! Please take care of Hassan for me, Melek. Mom! Mom! Uh, Mom, wait! Come back! Don't go! Ibrahim, can you wash the shop for a while? I have to go right away. What's your hurry, son? I have to head over to the hospital. Nariman's having her kidney transplant today. And of course, Suna didn't want to help me out. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Can I help you? Is Mr. Jenkins here today? Yes, they can direct you at the front desk. She's been waiting a long time for this. I'm sure she'll be Hassan here. Hassan and Nariman had a fight at home. Then she just left. Maybe she needs time to herself. Please, Malik. Will you please help my mother? All right. Just calm down and tell me what happened. There's this man. His name is Jengi Zakar. He's been harassing my mom for a few months now. Huh. He wants to buy her spot on the kidney donor list. She said no, but I think... She wants to help me out by selling him her spot. Wait right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Neshe, 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 how are you, honey? I'm not good. I'm in a lot of pain. Don't worry, sweetheart. You're going to get better. The doctors are doing everything they can to make you well again and live a normal life. Am I really going to be okay? Of course. Just hang just in there, I'm just going to run a few more tests, and then Mrs. Neshe will need her rest. Doctor, how's my wife? She needs a transplant right away. All right, then. Go ahead. Well, it's not that simple, you know. There's a donor list. Now, you listen to me, doctor, sir. I have plenty of money, and that'll buy me the next spot. So just go ahead and give my wife the operation. Murat! Mom? Find Nariman. She's going to sell her spot to someone else. Can they really do that? 
Has this ever happened before? It's not legal, but it still happens. Do you know the name of this person? Maybe we can try and stop this. Uh, his name is Jengis. Jengis Akar. Mom, go home. Don't leave Hassan alone. Excuse me. Yes, what? Where's Nariman? I'm sorry, I don't know. I have to find her before it's too late. What do you want me to do about it? You could give her a chance to live. I don't know what you're talking Shut about. Shut up. Yes, you do. What you're doing is not only illegal, it's wrong. It's a sin. I told you I don't know what you're talking about. Get rid of him. Come on. Let's go. You can't do this. You're not going to get away with this. Come on. You can't buy someone else's rights with your money. You can't do it. I won't let you. How's my wife? I'm going to prep her for the operation. Thank you. <sighs> You've got some nerve. You don't understand. Nirman made her own choice. I offered her money to provide for her son's future and she accepted it. But she's gonna die. So is my wife. You think I want her to die? I'll do anything to save my wife. I don't care how low you think it is. But this is unfair. And my wife dying. Is that fair? <laughs> Who are you to judge what's fair? Be careful with her. Don't worry, ma'am. Stay calm. She's in pretty bad shape. What happened? She fell down at the park. Thank you very much, sir. We'll take it from here. Okay. Let's go. What's going on? She's a kidney patient. She's on the donor list. Take her to intensive care. Mm -hmm. There's no other way. I have to do this. This patient is in critical condition. She needs a transplant or she won't make it. Watch it. Keep me posted on her status. Mm -hmm. I'll go see what I can do. Thank you, doctor. Murat, Nariman was just brought in. What? It's not good. This is all my fault. What? How? It was about ten years ago. I was running from the cops. 
Nirama was our neighbor, and I was hiding in her backyard. I waited until the police were gone. But then I, I knocked over a bucket full of ashes, and their house started to burn to the ground. I just ran away. They were left out in the street. They lost everything. I should have helped them, but I didn't, because I was selfish. If that fire never happened, then Nirimon never would have had to make this choice. I've hurt so many people. Remember when I said I would change my past if I could? Now I actually have a chance to do that. I don't understand. What are you talking about? I want both Nerimon and this other woman to have a chance. But how? Since there's only one kidney and two patients, then I'll do whatever it takes, sacrifice everything so they both can live. I hope Marat's okay. <gasps> it's him. Hello? What? What's uh, wrong, Grandma Melek? Efe, you stay with Hassan for a little while. Oh God, help us. Hey, do you want to be my friend? Uh-huh. But I really want you to be friends with my Uncle Marat, too. Then listen to me, okay? What's going on? We have to hurry. We really don't have much time. Marat? I'm fine, Mom. Don't worry. What in the world are you doing? Look, Mom, don't even try to talk me out of this, all right? But Marat, isn't this a little too much? Big mistakes count for big consequences. I'm sorry I have to do this. My son, you know what you did was wrong, and you did whatever you could to try to make up for it. No, I didn't, and maybe I never will. I was never the cause of someone losing their life. If I'd never started that fire, they never would have been left on the streets, and Nerimon wouldn't have gotten sick. And now Nerimon is dying, and her death would be on my hands. I can't let that happen to her. You can wait right here, sir. Thank you very much. No problem. It's my Thanks. job. Thanks. What are you doing here, Hassan? Please, Melek. I need to see my mom. You can't right now. She's going to die. Is that right? No, she's not. Murad is giving your mom his kidney. But I didn't want it to be this way. <sighs> There's not much we can do now, except pray and wait. You know how to pray, right, Hassan? I almost forgot, Efe. I almost forgot. How long is this going to take? It could be a while. Why don't you go home? The minute he gets out, I'll be sure to call you. I think Efe needs to sleep. Yes, you're right. He must be really tired. Come on, Efe. Let's go home. Here we go. It never started. And Aunt Nariman? She's perfectly fine. But how? Where is she?
Hassan, you're here. You're... I'm Neshe, Jengi's wife. How did the operation go? I didn't have it. I just couldn't. If you had given up your life to save mine, I just couldn't live with myself. How could I go on knowing that you died for me? Every day would be torture thinking about what you did. What are you going to do? I'm going to wait. I'm just going to be patient until the time comes when I'm next on the kidney donor list. Whatever is meant to be will be. If I had known what Jengis was trying to do, I would never have allowed it. You're a very good person. Hmm. I don't have a child yet, but you do, and he really needs you right now. You need to be there for him, Nariman. Hmm. Hey, come on, I want to show you something. Mother. Yes, my sweetheart. Forgive me. Please forgive me. I don't deserve you. You're everything to me. Of course I forgive you. Marat, please come in. How can I ever repay you for what you did? Marat, you did so much for my son and I. I hope one day I have a neighbor just like you, because you are a kind and generous person. Remember what you asked me when you saw me at the farmer's market? I do. I forgive you, Marat, and may God be with you. I will always be your friend. Thank you, Nirman. If what you did in the past is it true, is. all of it, then I forgive you, Marat. I forgive you. I don't think I ever told you about this place, did I? You just told me that they were buried here. I'm glad I finally told you. I grew up living with my grandparents. I was with them during their last days. Unfortunately, they were very sick and bedridden. My grandfather died one week after my grandmother. It was like he was following her. When I sat down with him the night before he passed away, I asked him politely, Do you miss Grandma? He smiled and said, in this world, we saw each other through smoky mirrors. But when that blessed day comes, that smoky mirror will be lifted and we will really be together forever. He said that's the day you really see each other. What would I do without you? I couldn't bear it. Don't worry. If you really see me as your partner in this life, see it that way in both worlds. Think about what will happen after this world. And trying to make me live on someone else's expense might prolong the time we get to have together in this world. But it's sure to make us part ways in the hereafter. And I couldn't bear that. I'm here. You can go, Ibrahim. Ibrahim, have you collected the money from the land you sold yet? I trust you'll pay me back whenever you have the money, son. Thank you. Uncle Murat, 
Is it very important to be good to your neighbor? Of course, F.A. But why? Because God willing, our neighbors will always help us out when we need them. And we should try to be there for them. Shouldn't God be the only inspiration we need? Shouldn't we use that inspiration to help get closer to God? 